Hello and welcome to Humankind, where we are going to be starting a new game. Um, playing as, of course, myself, as you can tell. Um, absolutely perfect rendition of my face. Um, just, just perfect, you know, this, this is absolutely spot on. Uh, if you want to play against my persona person, uh, there. if you're in Twitch chat, then exclamation mark persona will uh, give a link where you can where you can grab that. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later, it'll be in the description. So, uh, without further ado, let us start a new game, and these are the wonderful people I'll be playing against. H for Havoc, Mordred, Viking, Shenrir, Cringer, and Gigao. And I've also added Lucy and Victor in there, because, I don't know, I think they're kind of funny. Um, eight competitors on a huge world with 50% land percentage, three continents, average shape, the settings are kind of... I don't know what to make of them yet, so I, I can't really... Uh, can't really get a, a decent looking world, because I don't know how to how to really shape it, customize it, all that kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, playing as me, I got friends. Let's go. Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to you. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting. And a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarding. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Off the edge. Here is where it begins. The future that you carve through force of will and a bit of luck, out of the raw stuff of planet Earth. Alliances and enemies, wealth and danger, power and penury. May you leave the greatest mark. Thank you. Quite, quite nice. Yes. So we start off in a really interesting place. Um, on top of a cliff, coastline, um, starting on the river as well, which is usually awful, but can be quite nice. Um, I would like to go south, I think, because it looks like this. Does it extend further? It does extend maybe a little bit further. But still, it's very cliffy up there, and I mean, where can I go, right? Um, this is all cliff sides. I'm gonna have to go south, so we can get off the off the uh, off the mountain. But that looks like a really nice defensible location. I, I'm always looking for defensible locations. Always, always, always. Um, yeah, because I really like the way that sieges work. I think I've said that a ton of times already. Uh, but anyway, let's go grab some of this science. If you learn nothing else, you could learn what killed them. Quite. Um, so which river do we want to jump onto, is the question. I think we jumped there. It apparently didn't matter. Okay. Elephant. 
So we're hopping off a river to get back on a river. Or we could go down a bit southwards. So we have our first resource, Sage. Okay. So food. Sustenance, security, and pleasure. Wonderful stuff, this simple food. I think we go down here. Because then we can get onto this river in the next turn. Some science maybe for next turn. It looks like it's very cliffy this map so far. Very, very cliffy indeed. Yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain, the stalk swaying the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over, but one of the tribe elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she suggested planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. It's a curious idea, at odds with nomadic life. Uh, yes, um, I think we are going to do some domestication. And next turn, some more science. Food up in the north and the south. And some horses. That's really nice. So we're going to grab the food. Unfortunately, not a ton of food. I like this area already. It looks very plentiful with food. There's some science here. Uh, mountains for some production. I can get to that food. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And some sage again. Okay. Now where are you? If you're gonna come south, I'm gonna murder you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna murder you. Because that's extra food. I think it's only ten food for this guy. If I go there... Some science there as well. I will do manual battle. And yeah, it's end deployment. Oh, food has returned here. Okay. This is probably going to be the place we sell. I'll get you to attack first. So yeah, we've got science there, we've got more food. So whichever whichever one of my armies has food after I split them up is going to be the one that goes to get the food. In the distance, thin cord of smoke cuts into the clear blue skies. Fire calling a few tries when you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing strong with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You're about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil when you see short, shadowed figures running away. Youths. They could become part of your tribe if you give chase now. What would mean? Uh, but that would mean losing the secrets of the construction. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get an extra army, of course. Said army. Grab science. And if we're going to get... Oh, you're out of movement? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, you can continue moving, though. Uh, I do think this is going to be where we're going to settle, though. First off... Alright, you're the one with the food, so you're going to go and grab What's over there? this food. This way. Four to five now. Let's have you, well, I can go up this way. Ooh, more food, okay. Fifteen, okay, so it looks like we're going to be very soon able to... 
get that final piece of food and with it um, move on to the next error, which we're going to do pretty much immediately. If I was to make a thing here, you've got a 715 up in the north. Okay, well, that's going to be your job. You're going to move towards the north then. You are going to go south. Someone has chosen the Mycenaeans. Okay. That's a 915 up north further, but that can be done later. Uh, yeah, let's go found that. We can grab some food by sacking the sanctuary. Which river? I want to hop onto that river, I think. Yeah. And some food. Okay, so next turn we're going to be able to uh, uh, become the next era. Hopefully no one gets it before me. Someone's chosen the Nubians. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. What we're going to do is have you go here. You're going to go grab that science. You're going to ransack. That's 20, so that's an extra pop entirely. And you're going to go grab that food. Man's even more food there. Oh, if I wait one more turn, I can get an extra two pops? Yeah, I can get an extra two pops if I wait one more turn. So I'm going to do that. I know I shouldn't, but I probably have to. This way. Oh man, there's a lot of food around here. Remind me in one turn. Actually, you... Yeah, you're going to be able to grab that. You can grab that. You can't get there, but that's fine. Can you grab an extra dude? Get me some science. You... You didn't get all the food, but that's fine. You, however can get. Okay, that was 15 food right there. Um, I think now we go to the next era, unless you're going to find something cool. You do find something cool. And I also find a friend. There's nothing in here that's screaming, oh, you should totally settle here. It's really amazing. Because you can't get to there. Because of the river, you can't get there. Look over there. This way. But you can grab that food. Look over there. If only there was one extra bit of food, but it's fine. We're going to the next era. We're going to be the Babylonians because I want to do science. Three science per adjacent farmer's quarter on city or outpost. One food per researcher. Science per researcher. One researcher slot. Um... The, that's the astronomy house. Counts as a farmer's quarter and a research quarter at the same time. So, really fucking good. Love it. Plus two science per research technology on capital as well. So, really, really nice. Let us adopt the Babylonians. Plus we look cool. Love it. Nice. And... I'm going to pop a save in, just uh, pre-Babby. Lovely. Uh, let's see if we want to do any movement just to... I mean, you're kind of stuck all between the rows. You can only move one tile regardless of where you go. Uh, so... 17 and an 8 there. 18 and a 6 there. You guys, I think, can start that. 
Outpost for 20. Is it going to be cheaper once this becomes a city? It might. Oh, so close. Yeah, that wouldn't get us to the next thing. There's no food here. Uh, okay, I think that is about time we go to the next era then. I don't think we need that. Let us go. And are the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. This means more than just markets for the Babylonians. It's also the beginning of mathematics, astronomy, and a set of codified laws that I wouldn't want to be caught breaking. Alrighty then. So, you are going to be a city. The city of Babylon. Ah, yes. Oh.